Hey there, thank you so much for joining me. I'm Charlotte with Colorful Teaching for You. And today we're going to look at three ways that we can practice self-love with anxiety. So if you are struggling with anxiety, this is one of the ways that we're going to help alleviate that. So we've talked um, in the, our previous video about uh, five different steps that you can take right away within your classroom. This is something that you probably will be doing outside of your classroom, all right? So during times of anxiety, it is not easy to surround yourself by positivity. In fact, the thing that happens is you hear a lot of negative self-talk. And so we wanna be able to move past this because when you're in this space, it is really difficult to focus on um, taking care of yourself, let alone self-love, right? But when you change your focus to focusing on self-love and caring for yourself, it actually increases, or no, it decreases your anxiety levels and increases your motivation and satisfaction, thereby actually improving your health and your personal abilities. And that's what we want. So essentially what happens here is self-love is when you get to put yourself first. And when you are focused on putting yourself first and caring for yourself, you start to learn more about what you want and what you deserve. And when you get that, when you realize that, you won't settle for anything more or anything less, shall we say. You will want more of this in time, especially once we make it a habit. So one of the things I want you to keep in mind is that this is not being selfish what you're doing is caring for yourself because I know as a teacher or a homeschooling parent, you care for everybody else. Now it's time, at least at certain times of your life or your day, it's time to put yourself first too. So let's do just that. The first step is one you've heard over and over, but we're going to go into a quick strategy that's going to help you with this, is sleep it off. So I know you're busy, you're, you're a teacher or homeschooling parent, you don't have the time to sleep. But if you don't sleep, if you don't make that time to sleep, you're actually going to harm yourself even more because your anxiety levels are going to go through the roof, my friend. You need, In order to be able to calm your anxiety down, you need to get not just one, but a few, uh, well, multiple times, really. You need to get a good night's rest, all right? Now, one way to do this, because when you are feeling stressed out or really, really anxious, your focus is going to be on whatever is causing that anxiety. You're not going to be able to focus on anything else. So what I like to do before I go to bed is I, and you're going to do whatever works for you. For me, it's sitting down and watching some cartoons or science, science fiction. Star Trek is it for me at this point. <laughs> I've mentioned that a couple of times, but I'm like a huge fan of it right now. So I'm going through all of the episodes, every one of them that you could think of. Now, whatever works for you, get that going and for me when I watch cartoons or when I watch um, a science fiction movie or a t television show I like to imagine that I'm in the show I'm one of those characters because as soon as I'm immersed in that show I become one with it so when I go to bed I'm not really focused on the thing that's causing me the stress because at that point my mind is now drifted into this new world. So when I'm going to bed, that's what I'm thinking about. That's what I'm pretty well going to be dreaming about. So it's a quick mind shift and a quick way of um, strategy of being able to calm your nerves down enough so that you can put yourself to bed. Okay. So that's number one, sleep it off. Number two is do your thing. <laughs> so what I mean by this is find your passion. So I'm going to link to uh, a previous article and video that I've created so that you can, if you don't know what your passion is, you can figure that one out with me. But once you've figured it out, come back here and take that passion of yours and really work on it. So when I say work on it, I don't mean do it once. I mean multiple times. Schedule it into your day and I'd like you to do it well, if you can every day, but if you can't multiple times a week, because I need you to have something to look forward to. And you have something to look forward to, you start to reduce your anxiety level. So schedule it in, and unless it's an emergency, that's your time. Uh, if stuff's not planned, well, life moves on, you're gonna come up with a new idea. But you are going to have that time for yourself, okay? So do your thing, find your passion, that is step number two. Number three is develop connections. One of the things that teachers like to do is we like to do it all by ourselves. 
And one of the downsides of anxiety is that it tends to actually isolate us a little bit. It makes us want to deal with it on our own because sometimes, depending on where we're at, there can be a stigma around anxiety. And so what I'm asking you to do is push back against that stigma and say, no, 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 I'm not going to deal with this by myself. I've got people who love me and who are in my corner. And if you don't know who those people are right away, find them, find new people, talk to them. You'll figure out who your real friends are by the ones who stick, stick it out with you. And another thing about finding these connections or forming these connections is that's what friendship is about, right? Being there for each other. And also you start to realize if your friends care enough about you to be there for you, you, my friend, are worth loving. So that's one way to also decrease that anxiety there, to know that you are loved. And another thing is if you are finding it really, really difficult to find a group, or if you just want to add to your group, join our free Facebook group and let us know what we can help you with because we're there for you, all right? So those are my three steps. Let's really Let's recap really quickly. We've talked about the importance of managing your anxiety and we've talked about three different ways that you can do it. Number one is sleep it off. Number two is do your thing. So it's figuring out your passion and going for it. Number three is developing connections so that you have a support group for when you feel anxious. Okay. So now if you are finding this to be really difficult for you, I highly suggest that you find some additional support, maybe a counselor or a therapist. But one more thing I want you to look at is if you are going through this, I can guarantee you your kids are going through it. And if they aren't going through it right now, they may go through it later. So some of these steps you can actually do with your kids. And if you can't do it, talk to your kids about anxiety. Get rid of that stigma around anxiety and help them integrate these practices into their lives and do the same for yourself so it becomes a habit so you don't have to come back and reread this over and over or rethink about it it just becomes a habit for you if you are still struggling and you need additional support my friend there's two different things that you can do for yourself right now is check out my free resource library the link will be associated with this video and in there i've got a um, comprehensive guide about how to help yourself care for how to help take care of yourself along with the reflection guide to really guide you through the process and I also have, if you are finding that all you're doing is planning from day to day, a way to help you plan a little bit more in advance. It's called Systematic Plan to Super Passionate. It's a free masterclass. I highly encourage you to check it out. The link will also be associated with this video. In the meantime, my friends, if you found this inter um, interesting or helpful, please do share this with your friends and loved ones. And please remember to create, experience, and teach from the heart. Take care, my friends, and I will see you again, same place, same time. Bye-bye.